Okay. Oh! Now we move into the next part of the process that really creates chemical reactions. Okay. That's distillation. I've been missing the distillation. You touch me, baby. You took all the water. <laughs> you did take all the water. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Whiskey Tribe. Today, today, this is a question very often uh, I'm getting asked. Talking about the flavors of the whiskey. Where do these specific whiskey flavors come from? My answer, it's magic. Go home, shut up, drink the whiskey. It's magic. Go away. So, this, there, there's a lot of people uh, on different ends of the spectrum. Some people believe like the, the grains and the new make and the distillation process, maybe the yeast strain. That's where the flavor's coming from. Other people are like, dude, it's the barrel or nothing. The barrel's everything. Let's frame it a different way. Okay. Let's frame it instead of talking about all the different ways you can affect the flavor. Yeah. Let's frame it in what you're actually tasting in the glass and where those flavors might be coming from. Actually being able to pin down the specific components yeah. in a whiskey. Like I, I took a sip. Okay. Where are these things coming from? Right up. Okay. Right? So now any part of the process probably is affecting them. Right. But they all really combine into a, some base categories of things. Number one, what grain is this? Right. Am I drinking a malt? Am I drinking a bourbon? Right. Is it corn? Is it rye? Yeah. Right? Each of those grains has massive flavor impact. So if we're, if we're talking about beyond types of grain, beyond, you know, mm -hmm. barrel, if we're talking about the chemical components? Yeah, we're talking about chemical components. We're talking about esters, lactones, uh, phenols, alcohol, uh, and aldehydes. Now, we're pulling this from a book that we used to teach at the whiskey school. Yeah. And I think uh, he does such a great job of taking a really complicated thing and bringing it down into easily accessible. Okay. That's Lou Bryson's Tasting Whiskey. Now, the, the chemical components, you were naming things I hadn't even heard of before. Mm-hmm. Right? What, what? This is science shit. Uh, Actually, let's start an early part of the process. Yeah. So one of the first things that's going to happen is when you're malting process, this is where the phenols will show up. Okay. Right? And this is the smoky aromas from wood or peat smoke or things in the smoked grains, whatever those are. So to remind people, the malting process is you have your grain, whatever mm -hmm. kind of grain it is, whatever kind of grain right. that you're malting, and then you are adding warm water. What Do you trick the the grain into thinking it's time to germ to grow to germ and it starts to it breaks down starts converting so hard starch warm to soft water starch. and then drying yeah and then you got to dry it and they traditionally in Scotland dried it with burning peat now we can use you know gas or air all kinds of things so smoke is an option okay but if you put smoke in there then you're going to add these phenolic notes to your whiskey okay in theory okay if you have phenolic notes in a whiskey and you use smoke that's where they're coming from the next thing that I wasn't even familiar with at all. Aldehydes? Aldehydes, these what are, are things aldehydes? that can show up uh, in multiple places, but their first place they show up is in fermentation. Okay. Fermentation. They're all the aromatic compounds that are created from the yeast eating the sugars. Okay. And creating alcohol. Okay. Yeah. So what they're responsible of... for uh, floral notes, uh, lemons, uh, that kind of uh, the stuff that you smell in beer. Okay. Right. It's fermentation. You're making beer. Yeah. yeah. So all of the aromatic notes that you find that are not just alcohol in beer okay. and aren't grain. Yeah. Those are the aldehydes. So the floral mm -hmm. elements. Yeah. Those the kind of like the sweeter natural aromatics. Yes. Those are coming from the fermentation part of the process. Right. Do, do the Which is why the type of yeast strain can yeah. change everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the yeast yeah. strains, especially for beer guys, this is a really big deal. Mm -hmm. The yeast strain, the, the flavors, the aromatics that it's delivering is very different from strain to strain. In whiskey though, you're saying um, Maybe not necessarily as much as beer, but those aromatics, those still come through yes. all the way through the distillation process. And we process. keep finding that more and more and more. Now we move into the next part of the process that really creates chemical reactions. Okay. That's distillation. I've been missing the distillation. Way you touch me, baby. Kisses on my neck and the love you gave me. When I think about it, I now, in distillation, several things happen. So you've got all the different types of alcohol, not just ethanol, right. 
but all the different types of alcohol that come off between 173 Fahrenheit when alcohol starts evaporating right. and 212 when water starts evaporating. So we talked about phenols, we talked about aldehydes, then the mm -hmm. alcohol itself, yes. you're saying the alcohol itself is right. uh, one of these chemical components that affects the taste. There okay. are others that are called fusel alcohols. The whiskeys that describe themselves as being really, really pure and high distilled to remove all the, they're talking about removing the fusel alcohols. Because okay. those are the oily, sometimes undesirable parts of the distillation process. However- I don't know, man. I've had some amazing oily whiskeys. And that's, however, also that's where the lot of the flavor comes yeah. from. So yes, there's a whole category of people who describe their, their spirits as cleaner. Right. And they don't have all those extra funky flavors. Words. Yeah, <laughs> flavors, right? But there's there's more alcohol. I don't than want anything ethanol. getting between me and my diet coke. Now, the other thing that happens yeah. is that esters are created, and these show up in both aging and in distillation. Okay. Right now, esters they're byproducts of fermentation. Okay. But they make it through the distillation process. These are things like uh, like and they have chemical names. Okay. But I want you to understand that the chemical names result in actual things. So you have a chemical like isoamyl acetate. Gross. Love that in a whiskey. Yeah. You know what it smells like when you smell it? Yeah. Bananas. Oh. Yeah. All right. Or you've got ethyl caprate. That's a beautiful one. You know what that's like? Right. It's apples. They are also formed in the barrel. Okay. Esters are formed in the barrel. Uh, they're a part of aldehydes. They react with oak lignin to create esters in the barrel. Right. Oak lignin is uh, the component in barrels that breaks down to form all the flavor components. The it, wood is developed as providing lactones and lignans, not esters. Okay. Esters are being so delivered the, into the barrel. So, oh, so delivered into the yes, barrel. Yes, yes, Okay, yes. all right. Now, esters create things uh, with the barrel when they start breaking down the barrel. Yeah. They create new chemical components like ethyl syringate, which is like a fig tobacco. Oh, that's my favorite of the syringate. It is actually, yeah. that's that fig tobacco yeah. note. In oh, it is, like, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just want a bottle of that? I know, right? Or ethyl, ethyl ferulate, which is cinnamon. <laughs> if you ever taste, oh, there's cinnamon. Yeah, okay. That's coming from the esters and the lignin combos, right? Yeah. One of the things that I have heard of is um, lactones and congeners and... Long chain esters. Yeah, lignins. Yeah. Well, lactones, what is the lactone? Lactones are typically two that show up in interaction and aging with oak. Aging! Okay. And uh, they give like that vanilla coconut type character yeah. to things. Yeah, yeah. That's lactone. Okay. Um, there's uh, trans lactone is this spicy clove note that comes out of wood. Okay, so even right. it's the same kind of chemical, but there's ver variations of that chemical. Cis lactone person. and trans lactone are the ones two typically found. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Also in barrels, you get the vanillins, which are the uh, number of variations of vanillin, which is in aging with oak. So vanillin. Vanillin. There's a, a vanillin. There's a chemical compound. Yeah. Is it called is that right? Chemical compound? Or yeah, it's it? oak yields vanillin. Okay. That's the just oak coming. Barrel yields vanillin. That's coming from yes. the actual oak. It's essence mm -hmm. of barrel. Whenever you start getting those vanilla flavors. And the reason they're strongest in bourbon is because it's a new, new oak. oak barrel. Right. Right on. Let's let's make a whiskey with chemical. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> All right, so quickly, we've been talking about like the chemical compounds, the, the elements that come together to bring the whiskey flavors that we all know and love. Right. Right. So, I wanted to play with like um, different kinds of oils. Oh, so we could recreate the nose. Yeah, see like how close we can get. Because here's the thing, most people don't realize this, but uh, smell. Yes. The majority of taste. Do you ever have this experience? Like it was like a junior high science. They'll do, um, they put an apple in your hand. Right. And then they'll put a blindfold on, take a bite of the apple as they hold like uh, some onion. Else. Yeah. Like an onion right there. And people will be like 100% of the time, oh, gross, that's onion. Ugh. It's yeah. like they're biting out of an onion because yeah. the nose is overwhelming the taste. Yes, absolutely. There's a magnificent bastard she brought by a whole bunch of um, various essential oils for us. Okay. I lost the brochure in the card there. So let me know, remind me who you were, and I'm gonna pin you in the comments if you see this video. Because we have everything from um, like uh, rosemary, lavender, lemon, orange, something called valor, grapefruit, lemongrass. Some of these things they actually use in the flavoring of um, alcoholic drinks. Right. This is what I'm thinking. We do a flavorless spirit, right? Whilst 
smelling a combination of these mm. oils mm, okay. to see if we can overwhelm the taste of not having, having a, taste. a taste. Yeah. With yeah, so I'm thinking we, we sprinkle oils on an oak stave. Okay. So we have cinnamon bark, sweet basil, clove, black pepper, something called valor, okay. and lemongrass. What All are right. we gonna do? Drops in the same place on uh, the... I think, yeah, in the same place, right in the center there. Okay. Uh, some of these don't have the little hole on the top. Yeah, some right. of these are just naked, so you have to raw dog. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, yeah. Oh, little, little, little dab will do you. Little, little bang on it. Bang on that wood. Hit the wood. Bang the wood. Bang. The... Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, how many have we done so far? All, all oh, we done four. This is the fifth. Yes. Oh. Requires a steady hand. Bang. Oh! I doubled down on the sweet basil. Oh, actually, I don't mind that at all. Okay. All right. There we go. What do you think? Not enough? I don't know, man. I think you gotta get... First we'll try the waft and then we'll go nose deep. Okay. Nose deep. It does smell like gin more than it smells like anything else. You want me to hold your stick for you? Did it do anything? I'm drinking gin. Hold on. So I'm gonna do first. <laughs> it's just... Nothing. It's fucking, yeah. Taste it with this on the top. It's gin. I like that trick. But your mustache is gonna smell like essential oils for the next two weeks. Oh, it's super ginny. Right? Yeah. Now, we're gonna take it up a notch. Fresh vodka, unmolested. Okay. This is you. I'm gonna hold the actual wood stave, the source. Don't rub it on my face, because it never would, comes off. I would never do that. I would never. I'd have to shower. I would never do that. Okay. Oh, it smells totally different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's soaking into the grain. It's almost like it's, it brought something out of what was in the wood already. Right, right. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Suck it in. That's closer to a whiskey. It's still gin. It's still more gin right. than whiskey. That, I, I can't believe this is actually working. <laughs> closer to a whiskey. Again. It's still gin. Right. We're not saying, this is just like whiskey. No. no. There's none of the vanillas. You know, and the caramels and the darker notes. The main thing I'm missing is this deep, hefty, thick spiciness. That, yeah. That, that the whiskey, mid palate depth. The whiskey spice. Yeah. I have, I'm gonna bring the spice. I'm gonna bring the spice. What is it? We have defense spray. Oh, God. This is maximum strength. <laughs> and this one has three different offerings. You have pepper spray. <laughs> Military grade tear gas. Yeah, I'm not doing either of these things. And UV marking dye. <laughs> which one? It doesn't matter which one. Which one? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Whichever one you want to endure. I did it earlier. It's fine. I did. <laughs> now, Alex didn't do it earlier. <laughs> Where are you going, Alex? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I know what you are capable yeah. of enduring. If right. I said it once, I said it a thousand times. Not in the face. <laughs> I'm already sweating thinking about this. Uh, now we're not gonna spray each other. That's that's sophomoric. I feel uncomfortable. Uh, can we get a knife or something here? Here. So. Oh my god! Like. <laughs> you have no idea. Dude. Like, there's not even if I hey! miss on this thing. Now, you'll be happy to know yeah. I've done research into the safety as I always do to make sure that we don't do anything. Like the fire episode. And the... Three out of four sources say there's no danger to this. Three out of four. It's a pepper spray Kessler's. Yeah, maybe give it a second to settle first. <laughs> Maybe that was a little too soon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yo. laughs> uh, it was <laughs> fell in the room. <coughs> Science the shit out of that. <coughs> it's stuck. <coughs> 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 It's pepper spray. <laughs> <laughs> and a whiskey. Get in on this, Deb. Mm -mm. Oh! Oh! 
Is it gonna kill me? No, oh, don't drink that. <clears throat> Take a sip of that, Rex. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Real sip. And I just. Yeah, you're gonna need that. Uh. You okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's in the throat. Ah. Here we go, Deb. Okay. Deb, Deb, Deb. <laughs> this is the wood spicer whiskey. Hi, baby. Wait, I don't uh. have any water. You took all the water. <laughs> you did take all the water. <laughs> Yeah.